Righto, Taliedi champs, and today we're going to be looking at the best RTX 3070 Ti you might be able to get. Ah, uh, yeah, nah, <laughs> you ain't going to get one of these. Oh, I might be wrong, but we'll wait and see, eh? But this undoubtedly will be the best RTX 3070 Ti. Of, of course, we're talking about the ROG Strix 3070 Ti OC, baby. And look, I put my money where my mouth is. When I'm able to get a Strix, I always get a Strix. I mean, beggars can't be choosers in these sort of scenarios. Maybe you can't get them now, but uh, always get the Strix. They're always sold out first. You pay more, but they're just better. And even my mate Dodgy Dave does custom PCs. Well, you used to do custom PCs before you could get parts. Um, yeah, always buy Strix, even though he's water cooling them. Still buy Strix because he thinks they're the best as well. Fingers crossed you might be able to get one of these. I don't know what Nvidia's doing. This has nothing to do with Zeus. I guess Nvidia are just filling price points at this point. Obviously, fairy tale price points. And what I mean by that is they're going to have a GPU for every price point. 400, 500, 600, 700. You get the picture. But let's have a look at this one. And what I can tell you about this one here this has the exact same cooler as i have on my rtx 3090 strix now i have the white version the same cooler there might be slight changes in the way the memory is configured etc but it's basically the same cooler so what that means it's like putting like a truck cooling system on a you know a passenger car this cooler that goes on this strix 3070 ti is capable of a 3090 a full fat 3090 it can cool that down which uses much more power has more memory is more heat with the memory as well well and this cooler can cool that down so with this 3070 ti it's just like a cakewalk i mean it's just so simple now you guys know how many graphics cards i've had in the house from review units to you know personal units i've got a few 3090s for myself i've had a shed load of graphics cards in here all right now with the strix the only card i'm telling you now out of the 3080s and 3090s the only card that can keep that memory junction temperature under 100 degrees is the strix out of all the other cards i've tested from msi gigabyte i've tested egva now on this card you don't just get the best cooler on the business you also get fan headers on this so you can connect it to your fans etc you get two hdmi 2.1s now all these other numb nuts they're only giving you one hdmi 2.1s i think gigabyte give you two as well but um a lot of them they only give you one hdmi 2.1 so this has two so that's awesome you get dual bias as well now it says one's for performance one's for silence it's a waste of time right this is silent anyway my 3090 i don't hear it <laughs> you're not going to hear it on this 3070 you won't hear it over your cpu fan whatever it's super quiet and really just think of that is a dual bios rather than a silent or performance because you're never going to put it in silent mode why would you you can't really hear it anyway so with the strix it's the best of the best right you get the best power delivery the best phases chokes mosfets everything is the best the best vrm it truly is the king of kings now when it comes to these graphics cards if you can't get a graphics card i strongly suggest try a laptop Look at this, connected to the best monitor in the world. That is a 4K 144Hz HDR panel mini LED. If you can't get a graphics card, get that super powerful Zephyrus. That's got a 16 gigabyte RTX 3080 and the latest Intel 11th generation. That thing screams, all right? Gaming laptops are so good now, I review a lot. Now, with this RTX 3070 Ti, I cannot tell you performance figures. It comes out on the 9th and that's when the embargo lifts, but I can actually show you the unit. Benchmarks, I mean, look, seriously. Seriously, it doesn't take a genius to figure out. The 3070 Ti is going to sit between a 3070 and a 3080. The 3080 Ti sits between a 3080 and a 3090. It's really that simple. And comparing them at performance and price point, it's useless now because you can't say, oh, for an extra $100, you get this extra amount of performance because you can't buy them anyway. Now, if you do want me to do specific testing with this 3070 Ti, like content creation, hooking it up to a Mac or eGPU or something like that, let me know down down there in the comments and i will point you to jared tech he's done the rtx 3080 ti you can go check out his video on that and i'm sure he's got a 3070 ti so when the embargo lifts for performance metrics i suggest you go look at jared's tech it amazes me the difference between his results and linus's with the 3080 ti and um, i know which one i trust and it's not linus so anyway here's your first look at the best rtx 3070 ti you might be able to buy Hopefully you can. With this nerfing crap though, they are nerfed. I would not be paying inflated prices for a 3070 Ti or a 3080 Ti because the value of them is going to be much less than a full fat, full hash rate card. So I don't like overpaying for these, all right? You might want to overpay for a full hash rate card, but not one of the nerf ones because the value of them just drops straight away because I don't know. <laughs> 
it's a complicated amd graphics cards are crap for mining they're still expensive you still can't get them oh actually you can get them here in australia but in the us you definitely can't so get a laptop i'm telling you catch you next one tally ho